Hello, my name is Colonel Andy Stone and I'm the commander of the Ohio National Guard's 16th Engineer Brigade. The brigade is currently mobilized on active federal service in support of ongoing operations in the Middle East. When I'm not on duty with the Army in my civilian occupation, I'm the service safety director for the city of Athens, Ohio. I've held my Ohio engineer's license since late 2003, and it has been absolutely invaluable in both my military and civilian professions. The number one benefit I derive from it is credibility. In my command and leadership roles, rarely am I the person actually sealing plans. But when I walk into a room and hand over business cards in any setting, in Ohio, across the country, or around the world, that PE after my name is universally recognized by anyone working in engineering or construction. It denotes competence and professionalism and helps begin the discussion on my terms. The Army doesn't require its engineer soldiers to have an engineering degree or license, but it is highly recommended and sought after, particularly for officers. We expect, especially as they go forward in their career and become more senior, that they will interact with a wide variety of stakeholders and must be seen as the expert in the room. When I talk with a professional engineer, I begin from the point that they are the expert. And unless they prove otherwise, I continue to defer to them and hold them in high regard. I push all my officers with engineering degrees to get their license, license and reward them when they do. It is a huge accomplishment. Our military is stronger because of our licensed professional engineers.